quick little lesson on how to find the vertex of any parabola that you want. There are basically two ways to do it. There's the easy way and then there's a tougher way depending on how the function is written. If the function is written like any of these, you probably recognize this or you'll have to learn to recognize this as what we call vertex form. You have a number out in front, maybe. You have x, maybe plus or minus some number, all squared. And then you have something maybe at the end. You can read the vertex directly off of functions that are written this way. By taking this number and flipping the sign, in this case it turns out to be 7, and then just taking this number, in which case it happens to be positive 6. The vertex of this parabola is positive 7, positive 6. The coordinates 7, 6. Similarly, the vertex of this are, well, flip the sign on the inside here, positive 7, and take this as it is, positive 11. That's the vertex of that parabola. This one may be a little trickier for you. There's nothing added or subtracted to x to flip the sign of. Notice how there's a minus 7, and we flip the sign. There's nothing in there. You know what we do when there's nothing there? It's 0. And take the number after the squared as it is, negative 3. The vertex here is 0, negative 3. Again, the 0 comes because nothing is added or subtracted from x. Now those are the easy cases. You are going to encounter some tougher ones. You've seen parabolas written like this before. You usually do the quadratic formula on them and stuff like that. Factor them, stuff like that. If you want to find the vertex of this parabola, I have a trick for you, which is that the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a where a and b are the same thing as in the quadratic formula. If you want a refresher, the a is in front of the x squared, the b is in front of the x, in this case it's negative 2, and, well, in quadratic formula, the number at the end is the c. Here it's negative 8. So, a is 2, b is negative 2, and the x coordinate of the vertex is negative well, b is negative 2, over 2 times a. a was 2. What I get here is uh, negative, negative 2. That's two negatives that cancel each other out. That gives 2. And then I get 4 on the bottom. Oh boy, this turns out to be uh, 0 0.5, or 1 half if you prefer. Then all you do is plug that back into your function. Because that is x, right? 0 0.5 squared minus 2 0 0.5 minus 8. We can evaluate this. I get 2 times 0 0.25. You can do this on your calculator if you need to. Uh, what I get is 0 0.5 minus 1 minus 8, which turns out to be negative 8.5. And the vertex of this parabola turns out to be the x, 0 0.5, and the y, negative 8.5. Little tougher than just reading it directly off of the function, but pretty easy. Just remember negative b over 2a, and then substitute that back into the equation. This is similar, except instead of being given in standard form, it's given in factored form. Well, guess what? If you just multiply everything together, negative foil, x squared minus 6x plus 2x minus 12. See, x squared minus 6x plus 2x minus 12. And then simplify all this. Don't forget even negative out front. Negative x squared plus 4x negative 6x plus 2x is negative 4x, but we flip the sign. And we have a minus 12, which becomes positive 12 because we flip the sign. Now, this is written just like it was in this standard form. a is negative 1, b 
is positive 4, C is positive 12, and we can find our the x coordinate of the vertex with negative b over 2a. In this case it's negative 4 over 2 times negative 1. It turns out to be negative 4 divided by negative 2 or 2. And then plug it back into the equation. It can be into this one or this one. Doesn't matter. y is negative 2 minus 6 times 2 plus 2. I ran out of room, forgive me for that. Negative, negative 4 times 4. I get positive 16. So again, the vertex here is 2, 16. And to get it, we just multiplied it all out to get it in standard form, then use negative b over 2a. Some of you may have learned something called completing the square. It accomplishes the same goal because it helps you convert into this kind of form to get the vertex. I certainly prefer negative b over 2a because it's not so complicated.